my mic and play the video. Hello everyone, this is Samurai Snake. I'm Entom64. Welcome to Bloody Raw 2. Oh yes. This is a fighting game actually made by Konami, and they're they've made fighting games before. I think one of them before is Martial Champion, that's basically like a Street Fighter 2 crossover with uh, an old fighting game of theirs called Yi Ar Kung Fu. Hmm. Info bands. So, what are we doing in Bloody Raw 2 exactly, mate? Because uh, we're kind of sandwiched between games today. Looper has just given me confirmation that he should be going in about half an hour or so. So, I guess we're just doing arcade for now. Yeah, we're going to be doing arcade mode, and if there's if there's time, we might go through story mode a bit. Okay, we'll give uh, Looper a bit more setup time. So, yeah, one bad story mode should be good. Yeah. So, what did when did, when did you first play Bloody Raw, mate? Either, like, the first or the second game, or any of the others, because there's actually about five, and then the series ended in 2003, so I don't think it's getting a revival. Yeah, probably because Konami just wants to focus on soccer games and milking Metal Gear. Hmm. Wait, did this say it was made by Hudson Soft? Were Hudson oh, bought Hudson by Soft. Konami? Uh, yeah, they got bought by Konami and all their properties, okay. so... Super Bomberman Man R is brought to you by Konami. Yeah, because uh, it says in the list of publishers for Bloody Raw, the series, Activision, Activision Hudson Soft, Konami, uh, Sony Computer Entertainment America, Virgin Interactive. Virgin Interactive were the people behind the Mega Drive, like, Disney games, such as Mickey Mania, and uh, I guess there was the one Aladdin game, and uh, obviously, you know, the Coop, the Gracie, the Lion King. <laughs> the Mega Drive version, specifically? Yes, the Mega oh, wow. Drive version specifically. Oh wow! So who's your who's your main in this game, mate? I always I always had a thing for uh, Bakaru the mole. I I my go-to is Yugo. Because usually I go for like whoever the main protagonist is of fighting games, unless like I find another one that's cooler. Okay, fair enough. Of course, as you guys can probably tell by now, the whole conceit of Bloody Roar is you can turn into furries and you can just punch each other and have a good time. Yeah, that's the main draw. It's basically, I want to say, Virtua Fighter-esque with, uh, they call them Zoanthropes. People that can transform into walking, talking, bipedal animals. Hmm... I want to say that 3D fighters like this are much more complex since you have a 3D space to work with. I'm more of a 2D fighter myself, to be honest. Unless it's stuff like Budokai, then I'm all over, though. Oh, wow, that was a great finish. <laughs> I'm seeing it now. I said, oh, that was, that was dope. It was like a meteor strike. Yeah, after practicing up this morning, I just... Figured out that move, like, a couple of hours ago. <laughs> nice. So, that move's gonna be very useful once we get to the final fight. Mm-hmm. This game also has super moves that can be done once you transform into your furry form, I guess you can mm -hmm. say. Are there any benefits to remaining in human form at all? I uh, don't really see any benefits, because if you change into your uh, furry form, then you can restore some of your health. Oh, okay. But, other but otherwise, I guess it beats uh, saving up your meter for changing into animal form. Yeah, yeah. And this game's difficulty does go up as you progress. 
what is it like scaling or yeah i'd say it's scaling the difficulty to the point where it's ridiculous snk boss syndrome I kind of want to say it almost goes along with how Virtua Fighter 2 analyzes all the moves that you do, and then uh -huh. it adapts to them and makes the game much more difficult. Interesting. I don't have any proof of that, but that seems <laughs> to be the case. If you say it loud enough, someone will believe you. That's all that matters. Yeah. So I'm just going to read through uh, some of the character entries here. Bloody... Raw... Not, I keep writing Bloody Road for some reason. Bloody Raw 2 with you. Get you some info on this shit. Bloody Raw 2 is a brawler video game developed by 18 or Rising in 1999. So uh, I don't know when Konami got their mitts on it, but it wasn't 2. I can tell you that much. Uh, let's see. Zoanthropes. Beings possessed of animal strength and human intellect. Their existence has been the stuff of legend since the dawn of human history. As technology advances, genetic scientists gain the ability to awaken the beast-like powers that lie dormant in human genes. The giant multinational Tylon Corporation secretly plots to reap huge benefits by exploiting these superhuman abilities. Opposing Tylon is a group of renegade zoanthropes fighting for the dignity of their kind. This fierce struggle shocks the world. I'm not reading the rest. That's it. That's all you get. Wow. I, I did a lot of reading during the Dissidia uh, NT Final Fantasy thing. Oh my god. The fan fiction that is actually canon was the stuff of legends. Wow. <laughs> Let me just put it this way. Uh, Tidus, after the events of 10, is on a beach. There's a bunch of blitz balls. However, one is secretly a bomb. He kicks it and his head explodes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being it... serious. And they make a new faith by having sex to you, Neratidus. Wow. Just in case you missed it in the last playthrough. <sighs> Amazing. How can you uh, mistake a, uh, a bomb for a ball? Well, I don't know. It was inside the Blitz Ball, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Which characters do we have? Here, we have returning fighters in Alice the Rabbit, Long the Tiger, Yuga the Wolf. New fighters include Bakiru the Mole, uh, probably my main. Uh, Buzu Sima, the Chameleon, he was alright. Jane the Bat, she's okay. Shida the Leopard was one of my go-tos, as well as uh, Stun the Insect. Uh, Yuriko the Half Beast was interesting, she turns into like a cat girl. Uh, returning unlockable fighters include Gardo the Lion, he's kind of like... I want to say he's the Hayachi of the game, although Shenlong the Tiger is a new unlockable fighter, and uh, yeah, he's a uh, he's pretty dapper. I'll give him that. He's unlockable if you want to fight him by going through arcade mode without dying. Oh. So basically, I guess you could say he's kind of the Akuma in this game, if you will. Hmm. I want to see exactly when Konami took control. Of bloody rocks. We need the facts straight. They need to be straight. Yep. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, well, I guess Konami just has the rights now, but I can scroll down. Uh, characters, 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 characters. Still scrolling. Uh, where is Konami at? Well, that Konami makes the currently holds the rights to the franchise after Hudson Soft was absorbed into the former company in 2012. So I guess Bloody Raw 4 was published by Konami. Yeah, so there you go. In Women's 4 made 2000s? Uh, let's see, I'll give you the uh, release date for each one. Uh, 1997 saw the release of the first game, the Beastorizer slash Bloody Raw slash Bloody Raw Hyper Beast Doll, which was on the arcade and the PS1. Bloody Raw 2, as you can see here, also in the arcade and PS1. Bloody Raw 3, arcade, PlayStation 2, and then they stopped having arcade releases. You had Bloody Raw, Primal Fury or Bloody Roar Extreme for the GameCube and Xbox, and then the last game was Bloody Roar 4 for the PS2. And that's it. Oh. It faded into darkness. Are you having trouble beating yourself over there? <laughs> oh gosh, why? <laughs> Uh, 
A, a bit. I lost once. It's cool, man. The more you lose, the more time you buy for a loop. You're doing a good thing in the end. Yeah, so lose all I want, I guess. <laughs> well, uh, a certain amount of time. That's not a... Yeah. That's not going to over. Yeah. Holy shit. Ugh, wow. Perfected by that insane combo. Damn, man, I saw that. That was the stuff of legends. You go, love wolf. You go, love wolf. It's good that you start back where you were in arcade mode instead of just having to go all the way from the beginning. Yeah, I don't know of any arcade games that'll do that to you. Uh, Yugo, what are you doing over there? <laughs> I can't wait to see this. <laughs> Get out of the corner. What are you doing? Alright. I'm gonna s save my meter for the next match. Sounds good. I'm gonna see if I can get this super off right off the bat. If possible. Shit. So I guess this could be called like a hybrid of Tekken and Virtua Fighter gameplay, or I guess just say Virtua Fighter but a bit faster. Yeah, for sure. I uh, never really played that much Virtua Fighter. I was more of a Tekken free lad mm. myself. Bingo! Nice. You defeated yourself. All right. Let's. Not yet. Ha! Got him. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. You win. Gotta say, that was a close one, though. Yeah. Alright, who's next? Jenny the Bat. Influence from Rouge the Bat? We'll never know. I could probably see that based on what she's wearing, maybe. Yes, yes, thank you, Snake. We all see them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. She's she's basically naked when she's in her animal form. Jeez. Yeah, that's how it works. It's an intimidation factor, Snake. Don't let it get to you. Rip her apart with your wolf claws and teeth. Oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs> and while he is kicking ass, uh, I will once again say, we are the HFC Sony Fund. We're raising money for Child's Play, who seek to improve the quality of life for children in hospitals around the world by providing them with video game systems and games. We are currently at 3,140. Uh, once we raise 3,500, we'll unlock the next incentive game for you all. And since Mr. Big Mouth let it slip <laughs> earlier, I guess I will say that it is Mega Man X7, so if you want that, get to donating. A uh, $5 donation and up will get you entry into the Sonic Mania raffle for a US PSN code. So if you have a US account, uh, just $5 will get you one entry. Doesn't guarantee you'll win, but you can have as many entries as you like, giving you a higher percentage chance of winning. And you can also use your donation amounts towards an incentive. Uh, the only one we have going right now is the Final Fantasy VII name Bid War. If you scroll down below on hfc-sonyfon.com, uh, you can see which name has the most money. You can make a new name, but you'll have to donate a lot, I would say, in order to be the winning name. So, uh, yeah, every penny goes straight to Child's Play, so don't feel uh, hesitant about donating. This one's for the kids. Yeah, that was a cl that was pretty close. I, I can get her next time. Mm-hmm. Seems to go better than uh, you versus uh, Hugo, that's for sure. Yeah. Like, there are eight total fights in arcade mode, and I want to say, like, halfway through arcade mode is when the difficulty level starts to noticeably increase. Oh, yeah. It's always the way. Here we go. 
And this is actually kind of notable, like it is with Soul Blade on the PlayStation 1, that English voices were put into the console versions for hmm. English speaking countries. Yeah. Though I will say, I kind of prefer Siegfried Stauffen's voice in Soul Blade in Japanese, to be honest. If only uh -huh. because it's basically Link's voice actor. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, Link ends up going over to the dark side with Soul Edge. Which version of Soul Calibur 2 did you uh, main back in the day, mate? This is the talking about Link. Uh, the GameCube version, naturally, since I no, didn't really not. have any history with Tekken that much. Mm -hmm. They should re-release that and just put Breath of the Wild, Link, in. I know, it's a stupid idea, it's fine. Kind of would have preferred if they if they made a Switch version of Soul Calibur 2 with pretty much every single character in there. Mm, well, I think Hayachi would get some tongues wagging at Sega. Sorry, Sony. Oh, I'm all essence fingers and thumbs to them. I guess, even though the, the only Tekken games that were on Nintendo consoles were like the portable one for Game Boy, then. Holy shit, Chun Li! Damn, I saw those kicks. Jesus. Kick combos, man. Kick combos, what are you gonna do? Alright, round one goes to me. Nice. I just decided to put it out that Mega Man X7 is the next incentive game. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom's getting pissed! You got this, mate, you got yeah. this. Yeah. I think my favorite part of Bloody Raw 2 was going beast mode and blasting them back across the arena. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty much the same here. I was kind of surprised when I saw that entering beast mode blast him against the wall. Uh, who would be playing X7? Why, it's Mr. Big Mouth over here. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, not me. <laughs> Why would you say such a thing? <laughs> Craziness. <clears throat> Alright. Alice the Rabbit, the last one before the final boss. So, after this, what, are we playing story mode? So, once we defeat Alice the Rabbit, and then Gato the Lion, then we'll go to story mode. Okay, I don't think Luke will uh, need that much extra time. He seems to be up and about right now. Ugh. Damn, man. Juggled. Jeez, that... Alice looks a bit weird as a rabbit. Yeah, well, she probably thinks she'd look weird as a lion as well. Alright. Nice. Would have been that uh, meteor attack. I know he's a wolf. I get my animals confused sometimes. <laughs> okay, I need to see this. <laughs> Jesus. I'll text. Your pawns will be the death of me.
Ugh, wanted to throw her. Oh, well. Cole always got what you want, mate. Yeah. Just throwing them takes away a, quite a bit of their health and also takes a lot off their meter if they're in animal form. Mm hmm. Basically, if you want to, if you want to see, burn the ground, burn, 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 over and over again. Donate, donate, donate. <laughs> we need about. Uh, let me do basic math. Three hundred and sixty to reach thirty-five hundred. Remember, every penny goes directly to child's play. So uh, yeah, don't feel uh, hesitant about donating. We don't touch a cent. Ah. I saw you whiff that special back there. God, saw you whiff that special back there. Thank you, beast mode! Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> clutch. Oh my god. I saw that shit. That was high. Now, pressure advantage. Don't lose it. Like, if she's blocking you high, go low. Yeah. You got this, man. Ugh! That's fine. There is the rapid combo, you can't see it coming. I have the Dissidia thing I'm playing now, and it's making this fight more epic than it has any right to be. Well, you try and mate, maybe next yeah. time. This is the penultimate thing of arcade mode, to be fair. Yeah. Just one set bef before it goes to overpowered SNK boss syndrome, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wanted to get that off on her. Probably could have phrased that better, but whatever. <laughs> Necromancer says, so close, you lost by a hair. It's funny because it could either mean hair like the stuff on your head, or hair as in rabbit. <laughs> I'm dead inside. Not to distract you. Uh, I really wanted to get this super off on her so I could kick her ass out of beast mode. Ah, uh, well, it happens. Keep it up, man. You're just buying time for loot. Figure it that way. <laughs> 
Yeah, Konami's just sitting on the rights for uh, Buddy Roll for no reason. I mean, this came out during the golden age of fighting games, and considering mm -hmm. that we pretty much ended our fighting game renaissance, this would be kind of a good time to bring this game back. Yeah. Like, what, you've got Dragon Ball Fighters, you've got, um, well, I guess Street Fighter Five counts. Uh, you know fighting games better. Snake, what else is coming out? Yeah. I'm really hyped for Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Yeah. Is there a new King of Fighters coming out? Did I hear that right? Uh, there was 14 that came out, I kind of want to say, in the last year. Uh. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the uh, gaming company thing of just sitting on rights and letting them fester. It's amazing they did with uh, Bomberman what they actually did. On the Switch, that is. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty one-sided, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You got it, man. Deep breath, and attack. Attack! Attack! You gotta kill that wascally wabbit. You got this, man. That was good. That was fresh. Yes! That's the super I'm talking about. Nice. Oh my god, that's so good. You go to the fighting game dimension, I love it. It's so hype. Yeah, that overhead kick seems really good for when they're on the floor and whatnot. Blocked her super. Boom! Nice! Thank you, Decidian Music. You did all of that, and Snake helped. <laughs> you go the world, God. I'll say right. this about King of Fighters. I kind of wish it had a dedicated story mode like Street Fighter V did, but oh well. Yeah, yeah. Ah, God of the Lion. The it... Vegeta of the game. It's the hair, really. Yeah, I can see that. Jeez. He's tough. I remember him kicking my ass. Ugh. Yep, I'm feeling it. SNK boss syndrome. Mm -hmm. You've just got to be cheaper, right? How cheap, the cheek lord. I find that it it's really good to counter him whenever he's trying to do combos by blocking and then throwing. Yep. Was that God Rugal in CVS 2? Yeah. Not entirely sure what that is. But what? I bet it's dickish. Bas basically, he gets Akuma's Teleport, uh, an upgraded Genocide Cutter, which is basically an uppercut kick, and a teleport. As well as the Raging okay. Demon. I got you. Nice job kicking him out of his super belt there, by the way. Oh, wow. He's just a beast. He doesn't need to transform. He's already an animal. Wow, he comboed into that. Oh, damn it. 
That was way too far away. Well, keep trying, mate. You got this. Imagine Gato's cheap. Just imagine how cheap Shenlong is. Oh my god, yeah, we ain't going there. No. Here we go. I mean, if I had to compare this in difficulty, it'd probably be equivalent to King of Fighters 94's difficulty. Mm -hmm. We've actually had a decent selection of uh, fighting games uh, in the Sony form. We had Guilty Gear, we had Soul Blade, and now I've got this. Yes! <laughs> Don't turn uh. around! You cheap bastard. <laughs> Good luck trying that again, though. Uh. Rawr! Not sure what that's meant to mean, exactly. Oh, right, yeah, I see it. Oh, and of course, the best fighting game of them all, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Oh my... Yes! Praise be! You win. <laughs> oh, that, the clutch, you did the Riku special, where you bounced out of a donkey kick. Oh, and Tekken 3 as well, holy shit. Mm-hmm. And the other JoJo game, wow. So when well, I think PS1, I think Fighters. Yeah, pretty much. Well, that's the arcade mode of Beast... Oh, beast mode. Bloody Roar <laughs> 2. There you go. For the PS1. Alright, so I guess it's a story mode time now. Yep. <laughs> it's nothing too detailed, just blocks of text accompanied by fights, so... Mm -hmm. I, actually, to tell the truth, I never played Soul Blade Story Mode, or or the console version of Soul Edge. Mm. So, I don't know what the story mode in that is like. Unless it's just the same, blocks of text with... Mm -hmm. So basically, basic PS1 story, I guess. Uh, if we don't reach 5k, which is when all the incentives are done, uh, I guess we have another game we can throw in, Volk. It's actually been mentioned on this uh, playthrough, so feel free to comb through and find it. Uh, loophole's ready, but we're doing story mode anyway, because we promised it. Yeah. We'll see how far yeah. I can get through that. Mm-hmm. Produced by Hudson. Nice. R.I.P. No, it's since names don't really mean crap. Oh, you wouldn't take that. Darn it! What are you trying to do? Oh, you... <laughs> you naughty boys, now. <laughs> I tried that uh, with another arcade game yesterday at this place called Main Event, and it wouldn't take that either. It just replaced the name to Far Out. There you go. I just remember that one game where you try to enter Sonic as your username, and it says "not cool enough." <laughs> what game is that for? I honestly can't remember, but it's pretty funny. Also, you have Donkey Kong Country 2 when you go to the DK coin screen and it's got like Sonic shoes next to a garbage can. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. For some reason, over in gyms there as well, it's like, did you really consider that a big enough rival to put in the game? Eh, whatever. Oh my god, the CGI is. It's in my memory as clear as day.
Yeah, I see you, Shenlong. Don't think I don't. I mean, it show the CGI shows how dated it is, but I can't help but think that this is cool. Well, you know, it's how it's presented. Yeah. All anime and shit. Mm hmm. Yeah, so basically, I guess the story could be compared to, I kind of want to say, Killer Instinct story, or lack thereof. Mm hmm. Basically, zoanthropes, the government wants them to do stuff. I swear there's a webcomic almost based on this exact story. No, eh, not coming to me. It's fine. Hmm. So Hugo's story is he's trying to find his missing father. Yeah, and he picks up this boy who who lost his memory. He calls him Kenji, but he... Should I actually say the spoilers for this? Well, he looks pretty similar to a fire we've already seen, so it's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, whatever. It it, it says it right out here. It's, ba <laughs> it's Bakuryu. The mole. So, Bakuryu gets kidnapped again. Uh, I'm just not going to say a word about that pose she's doing. Whatever, let's fight. Let's. let's. Shut up, witch. I can't <laughs> say the word that I want to in this game. The rating won't allow me. <laughs> I'm just gonna have this fucking Dissidia theme on loop here. Jesus. It works. Was the theme like, uh, rock and stuff like that? Well, you know how the Dissidia theme goes, right? It's like, duh, 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 duh. And then it gets a little bit more impactful. And, uh, I don't want you losing the first round, mate. You've, uh, just kicked Gardo's ass. You shouldn't be losing against no Jenny round one bat. Probably kicking on the other side of the arena. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't see that slide kick coming. It's cool how each character has like their own individual story. Even if it's a bit repetitive, it's better than uh, other fighting games like uh, PS All Stars, I think. Yeah. I have never uh, played. The perfect. I've never played. Or own PlayStation All Stars. Just no interest. I don't think you're missing anything, to be fair. Alright, next character. Sheena. Who looks what? like she's Super Saiyan. Yeah, basically, Gardo's door. I love how Hugo was like, uh, I was nice to you, and then you're a bitch, I'm gonna hit you! <laughs> I forget how many fights are actually in story mode, do you remember? I think there are five. Okay, that's perfectly doable. Leopards aren't as powerful as lions, but they can still fuck you up, so be careful. Get ready. Oh, Sirachi Jirachi says, Seeing that Earthrealm Gym uh, SE came out before Don't Come Country 2, I imagine Rare put Earthrealm Gym's blaster into their game because of the DK head cheat. Never actually heard of it though. Was that in the second game? Because I had over in Gym 1. That was the tightest shoot. What? DK mode in Earthworm Gym 2? Yeah, I'm just all special edition. Yeah, I don't think I own the special edition. Mm. What is it like for... Mm, Saturn and PlayStation 1? 
Possibly, possibly. Sirachi, if you have the information, relay it to us, because I'm just here looking at Hugo, constantly looking down at people after he's beaten them into oblivion. You just... Take a CD in Windows 95. Oh, okay. That's the first game. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah, I, I owned it for Mega Drive. Okay, so this Ooh. guy... This guy is basically oh. this game's ri reptile, if you will. Basically. Though he's... Though it says stun the insect. He, he still looks more like reptile, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. I love his beanie. It completes the whole <laughs> ensemble. <laughs> Although, if you really want to stretch things, you can just imagine Stone as one of the mummies alive. Oh, yeah. I think just having his sh shorts made up of bandages would probably complete the look. Oh, yeah. Killer Kabuto from One Punch Man. Damn, man, you got red. Yep. Nice slide kick to start things off. And another. Why not? Third. Is that all you got? No, he has more moves. Would you believe it? Ah, oh, missed that one. He ducked. Whatever, the round is mine. Bring it on home. So what does the blue part of the health bar represent exactly? It's the amount of health that you can restore. Okay. So, so it's like in RPGs and uh, whatnot, you can take a bunch of damage but there's a point where if you don't take any more damage, it will refill. But if you keep taking damage, your overall amount will be lowered. Yeah, ba basically like the mechanics in Marvel vs. Capcom games. Mm -hmm. I was thinking more like Bloodborne, but uh, both are oh, okay. the same. Yeah. <sighs> Fucking Hugo. <laughs> I'm sorry about punching in the face. I'm just trying to find the kid I'm looking after, I suppose. <laughs> that kid I'm going to fight against that's going to kill me? Mm. <laughs> I just like the image just switches over to Baku to you and he's like, what's up? Yo, I'm here. I'm Naruto now and Sasuke in the same body. Oh, to... actually, straight to the point. Yep. You have to fight him, like, two times. Hmm. Whatever works. Oh, he means business, mate. He's not scared of your wolf form. I love his mole form. Moles are just inherently cool. That super of his is insane. Yep, yeah, I love that one. It's like Omni Slash, followed by a Cross Slash. Ha! The round is mine. Nice. The way you always gotta finish it with clutch. You know what that does to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Gives you a heart attack. <laughs> oh yeah, well, in the best way.
Don't mind me. Just shit posting. Oh, and I come back to see you being KO'd. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Beat your ass. You win. Damn, man, that combo. Jesus. I think that's pretty much my go to for you, Go. <laughs> just, <laughs> just keep mashing direct uh, down toward along mm -hmm. with the punch button. <laughs> well, then Kenji runs away, I guess. Yeah, Busujima Busu then runs away, I guess. You go low, low. Right, round two against Bakuryu. Okay, I guess he's gonna go like super strong now. Like I'm actually watching an episode of Naruto Shippuden right now. <laughs> well, he finished oh, me like off. A... Yeah, that was like a flawless transformation to uh, beast mode. I didn't even see him pop off the energy. I like the new power. No, we're almost done. Almost done. Nice. Got him in a super. Nice juggle from him. Oof. And this game is rated T for teen? Mm-hmm. Whatever, I guess as long as they're not ripping any heads off, I guess blood is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Here we go. Get ready. Yeah, no nudity, so the US don't care. Good point, but You can just say it's like tomato paste or something. Oh, no, the people are living tomatoes. Bushima, what have you done? <laughs> like... Enton the tomato. Snake <laughs> the salami. <laughs> Ow. Never really liked that you have to turn around in 3D fighters. Mm hmm. Well, that's the final fight. If you weren't going to struggle on this, uh, what were you going to struggle on, really? Yeah. It's the penultimate fight, really. Before Shenlong. Oh. Okay. Jeez. Oh, wow! I'm scared. Wow, that was amazing! Yeah. I was really wanting to do that meteor strike on him, but he wasn't having any. Yeah, I don't know why a Japanese ninja is doing a German Azuna drop, Tox. Was that like in a wrestling move or something? I guess so. No, the new Street Fighter V character looks pretty cool. I'll let you all see it, so there's no spoilers.
Yeah, but he's on the floor. Uh, don't hesitate to go for like drop kicks and whatnot. Yeah. God, that throw does a lot of damage. God damn. All right, you got this one. Round one is to you. Now make round two your bitch. <laughs> oh, that throw of Bakiru is uh, it's just adorable more than anything. Oh, that throw of his I hate. Sixteen seconds. You can do it. Oh, close. Mm -hmm. Final round. Do it. You have the skills to win. Show me. That your heart is pure and furry uh, than his. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Come on. Yes! Nice! You. Oh, beautiful. Beautitious, even. <laughs> you gotta look so happy to win. <laughs> That's just his win quote. Yeah! Yeah! No, 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 no. Oh boy. Jesus Christ. Holy crap, he looks like Land D. Yeah, a little bit. But then again, he is your Chinese fighter, so. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. SNK Boss Syndrome. I'm oh, feeling dear. it. Yeah, he's got- oh my god, he's got combos for days. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have to get the slides, the down kicks, the grabs, everything to beat this guy. How do they expect you to unlock stuff by not get getting any continues in this mode? Well... Other than just get good, mate. Yeah, get good, mate. All right, let's see if I can take him out in one f more fight. Okay. I mean, you got about ten minutes, so it's fun. <laughs> Petty Pettybone says, "Wow, Kung Fu Panda Five looks good." <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if four is uh, gonna be announced soon. I liked three, but it felt a bit shallow. Not as uh, crunchy as two, and uh, the villain wasn't as good. But uh, it was enjoyable. It was just more of a popcorn flick than the previous two were. Uh... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. I gotta see it. Nice. <laughs> and I took him out in the first fight. Joy of Snake, now available <laughs> on the Hellfirecom's live stream. Uh. 
okay. I was completely wrong. We have one more person to fight, Busujima. Okay. I turned myself into a comedian. Why? Lol. I also just realized I said comedian. Not comedian. <laughs> Basically the same thing. That's what you get for laughing like a madman. There's, I'm surprised Shenlong didn't do his 100 crack fist in the North Star move. Mm hmm. What is that an actual thing? Uh, basically, just a bunch of rapid punches. Th okay. That's like about 18, I want to say. Oh, did you see that uh, the Yakuza team have uh, made a new Fist of the North Star game? I heard of it, that they're making one. I haven't seen any video of it. It looks pretty good. Although I should say I've only seen screenshots and not it in motion. Goodbye, Busujima. Wow, he was a piece of piss compared to his bodyguard. <laughs> Fucking chameleon. Turns to something like a cobra next to him. And Gato shows up. <sighs> Never friends. Good job disposing of my minion for me. Now, now it's your turn to die. Final fight, Hugo versus Gatto. You gotta beat him so Luke can take the stream. Show no mercy. Whoa! Whoa, he, whoa, he. Woohoo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Clutch first round. Nice, 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 nice. You very nearly lost there, by the way. Yeah. Well, that's torch for you. Oh, jeez. Gato is pissed that I beat him by clutch in the first round. Oh yeah, I can see it. Well, you got one more round left. Oh wow. Yep, I saw that. Oh. Freaking God Rugal the Lion. <sighs> I did tell you I didn't want the job, but why are you still attacking me? Ah, oh, the beginning was so great right there. Oh, hell no. I, I keep messing that up, thinking I have enough range. Jesus. Yeah. Perfect GGOS. Once again, Gardo, I did say I did not want to be the leader. Ha ha, Gardo does not hear his excuses. <coughs> Half indeed. Alright, let's put a nail on this. Yeah.
Oh, jeez, Gato. <laughs> Gato's pissed. Jeez, that was like a Dragon Ball fight. Ah. That's okay, hey, man. Keep it up. Cancelled your super out. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll just play defensive and just use that other combo I'm seeing. Oh, yeah, why not? You might as well. If he's going to be aggressive, you go on the defense. Oh, I was really hoping I'd get, get my super off. For the last time, I don't want to be the leader. I can't hear you. <laughs> I defeated you. Now you have to be the leader. But I don't want to be the leader. I don't hear you. Wolf. No, lion mode engage. There we go. Man. Doing good mixing up, uh, mixing it up with high and low. Uh, that's okay, man. It's just a hard bust. Yeah. all good to go, so don't worry about rushing or anything. Alright. Ah. Could have sworn Maybe. that it was close. You keep whiffing that super, but uh, I can understand why you would. Oh, 
Ah, I could have sworn I blocked it. Were you blocking while pressing buttons? Uh, I was... I was blocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snake. Hmm. Right, is it necessary to blow him all the way back into the background, that super? I guess it is if you're the leader. <sighs> Alright, you got all your skills here. If he's yeah. blocking hard, go low. Slide in often, because he doesn't seem to be able to dodge that all that often. God, that fucking tur slow turnaround. Oh boy. Yeah. Ah. It's okay, man. Just keep it going. Don't get frustrated. Yeah. Pretty much the same with 3D fighters and wanting to turn around quick. Don't forget, guys, we are raising money for Child's Play, who uh, seeks to improve the quality of life for children in hospitals around the world by providing them video game systems and games. Ooh, I can say it really fast now. Uh, the next incentive game will be unlocked at 3500. That is Mega Man X7. So if you want to see Snake run that, he's uh, previously run X5. Uh, feel free to donate. Every penny goes directly to the charity. And let's get some pog champs in the chat for our man Snake beating fucking Gardo over here. Don't understand why he needed a white background for such a little sissy swipe back then. <coughs> Because he broke the wall, and if you break the wall, you, you really need a really good background to show that you are awesome for destroying a wall. He's making a mockery of you, Snake. Yeah. Are you going to allow this? Nope. Not at all. Yeah, let him come to you. Counter. Go down when he blocks up, etc. Oh my god. But uh, it had potential. We've still got the FF7 incentives, so uh, feel free to donate towards them, mate. Going, man, keep that gun yep. train rolling. Legend has it that if you donate to the HRC Sony font, Snake will gain the power akin to Goku taking in the power of the people's wishes for the spirit bomb. That's just a rumor, though. Meteor strike your ass. Oh, yeah. Nicely done, mate. Keep spamming that if you want, and then go for, like, grabs and low kicks and whatnot. Alright, 
I'm out of beast mode. Now I'll play defensively. Just need to <sighs> knock him out one more time. Holy crap. That one had potential. Well, you know the secret strategy now. He uh, is pretty uh, unresilient against the meteor strike. Also the flip kick when you get off the floor. Oh, yeah. So just use what you know, remember what you've learned. Oh, that that's if he'll not corner me. Jesus Christ. Right. Let's try that again. Yeah, it was only because you got knocked into the corner. Yeah. Getting beast mode right off the bat seems to help. Mm -hmm. Most of the time. If you need to spam to beat him, feel free. That's how I play fighting games anyway. Ah, oh, come on. Jesus Christ. Yes, my friend, do not forget the grabs, the art of the grab. Theoretically, you could just counter his combos and then go in for a grab. Oh, yeah. I think you should make use of those. Although, to be fair, I always forget the grab in Smash Bros because it feels a bit awkward. Mm. Same here. Oh, well, you got a strategy now. Hey, Billy Boomers, nice to see you. You've come in for the finale of uh, Bloody Raw 2, and after this, we've got Uncharted 2. That's going to be a long one. So yeah, get as much damage out of beast mode as you can, and uh, then go in for the grabs and like the slides and whatnot. Just don't forget your tactics midway through the fight. Ah. Uh. There's a grab in beast mode where you just rip the crap out of him with your mouth. Mm-hmm. Can't you start off the fight with a grab if you're, like, right next to them? Possibly. Well, just keep at it, man. Just keep at yep. it. Yep. Maybe save beast mode until you need the health region. Yeah, that's another strategy I go for sometimes. Mm hmm. Okay, well, let's get it done now. Whoops. I don't like the sound of that whoops. Well, oh, whatever works, whatever works. That's it, just keep spamming. 
Just keep spamming. Just keep spamming. Oh, come on! I was doing so good, too. Yeah, that's the fuck you, I'm winning attack. Doing good, man. Doing good. Keep it up. Oh no! Oh. Okay, I guess Scarlet wins because he wanted to win. Yep. But you've got a strategy now, so come on. I don't want to keep loop waiting any longer. Yeah. You the pieces now using that grab you stole from me. Oh, nice. Okay, that was an attempt. Yeah, don't be afraid to be cheap. So good. Yeah. Oh, stole my move. I was gonna slide into you. Ugh, wanted to do that meteor strike, but he wasn't having any of it. You're leaving yourself way too open to his attacks, mate. Just let him get on with his, like, things and then counter after he's done. I still think the grab spam will work pretty well. Hmm? I still think the grab spam will work. Hmm. Let's you just have to play defensively. Yeah, let's... Let's try grabbing him right off the bat. See if I can mm -hmm. do something. Nope. I'll then just kick his ass. He's being far too timid against him. Mm. 
Yep. <sighs> Man. I was doing good against him in round two. Well, you've got to, you've just got to win now, so come on. Yeah. Well, I know that's, but harder said than done. It's like, win! It's like, okay, Tom, I was planning to lose until now, but now I'll win. <laughs> yes, God favors the dick stomp. We have a $25 redo donation from Billy Boomers. Sorry, again, I missed a few days of the marathon. Here's 25 for the kids. Keep up the great work, fellas. Thank you, Billy Boomers. I left myself open there. Snake, come on. I have it blocked. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Damn, knocked you out of the arena. Get right. You go the world got the lion. Here we go. Get ready. Okay, that was bad. I'll focus on being good instead of bad then. Yes, got him. Nice. And I get to keep my meter too. Or not, oh, never mind. Go, go, go. No. <laughs> I believe in you, Snake, you beautiful human being. You please don't let him top down. <laughs> Oh shit. This this has to be the one. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it, please. Ugh. Snake. That, that damn super of his. You've got a good thing going on being aggressive now, so keep that up and block every one of his attacks. He has pretty obvious tells when he's going in for a super as well, so that'll help you a lot. Yeah, his supers have a lot of wind-up, actually. Alright, round one is mine. Good, 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 good. Now, he hits hard, but uh, especially when in beast mode, his tells are really obvious, so use that to your advantage. Perfect, baby! 
Oh my god, really? Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Snake, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> wow! <coughs> Lissimo. That is pure bliss right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Excellent, my friend, son. <laughs> <laughs> I die for nothing. I hope my advice of win got to you in the end. <laughs> <laughs> I give the shittest advice. I'm so sorry. <laughs> believe right, in so yeah, that... believe in yourself. Trust your feelings, etc. Oh yeah. You know, what God am I no, getting I... myself into? <laughs> God, no, I kept telling you I don't want to be the head of Furrycon. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think we deserve at least a couple of donations for that. Come mm -hmm. on, guys. Reach into that wallet of yours before Uncharted comes on. Here's Beautiful. A nice picture of Hugo posing like a badass. Yeah, he really is. And Baku is like, why won't Senpai notice me? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man, you should have something liquidy after this. Yeah. Which is to say a drink in non-stupid speak. Yeah. Woo! That's the story mode of Bloody Roar 2. Nice. Good shit, mate. Good shit. And do we really need to see these credits again? I don't think so. No, we don't. So I no. will say... He's been Samurai Snake, I've been Anton. Coming up next is Uncharted 2 with Loophole and a bunch of co-coms. See you later, guys. See you later.